Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So the other day I went to BeautyCon and I just want to tell you guys my experience and then I'll show you guys the stuff that I got. It was super packed, like ridiculously packed. We got there early so we were able to get inside the building, like where all the shops and stuff were at. I feel really bad for the people that didn't get in because there's a lot of people that didn't get in because it was over the capacity and I guess there was too many people in there and they had like the fire marshal be there. BeautyCon sold way more tickets than what they were supposed to sell. It was a hot mess. Literally a hot mess. It was like a really hot day. But overall, I had a good time just because like I made it inside the building. So I got to see all the cool stuff. And to top it off, okay, so I had bought a general admission ticket. And right after we finished parking, um, we were walking to go figure out where the line's at. As I was walking, this guy just came up to me and was like, oh, do you want a pro wristband? You get a free bag with it and you get to see people faster. And I was like, yeah, sure, thanks. And, you know, this is the wristband he gave me. So I went from general admission to getting one of these. And I didn't have to pay for it. So, like, the day was off to a really good start for me. Also, like, the people that couldn't get in the building, they weren't able to get their bag if they paid for a pro ticket or a higher ticket. Because to get your bag, you had to go inside the building. So a lot of people paid a lot of money to just sit in the sun. That really sucks. Also, it was very, very unorganized. The security guard seemed so stressed out because of how many people there was and like they didn't know what to do in the beginning. Because once I came out, everybody was like in a line, like a civil line. Before that, everybody was like bunched up at the door to try to get in that building. I didn't vlog at BeautyCon because like I didn't have the time. I had brought my son with me and it was so hard to have him with me because there were so many people and I had to make sure he was safe. But I did take a couple pictures and I'll put them at the end of the video. So this is the bag you get with your pro ticket. It's a really cute bag. I like how they styled it with the palm trees since, you know, California has palm trees, Los Angeles. So the first thing I pull out is temporary tattoos. I really like these. Me and my sister are gonna go hoppers on these. I'll probably keep that one and the little arrows. The watch is pretty cool too. Yeah. It's gonna be a tough, tough time trying to figure out who gets who what. So the next thing I pull out is facial cleansing wipes. Floropy Sweet Dreams Mask. And I'm guessing like it's supposed to make your face feel really, really good that you have sweet dreams. I have no idea. Oil for your hair. This is like a sample size. Very small. Very small. Maybelline's The Blushed Nude Eyeshadows. I actually don't own this so this is really awesome that I got this because now I don't have to buy it. And the colors are really pretty. Probably one of the best things in this bag. Skin Fixed Hand Repair Cream. I guess if you have like dry hands, it'll come in handy. Headbands. Honestly, I wouldn't wear these. I'm just being real. Like, these are a little too out there for me. Maybe just to go work out, have my hair up like that. But like, I wouldn't wear it like an everyday thing. Sample foundations. This is very small too. Like really small samples. Some crazy nail wraps. A hot pink nail polish by Barbie brand. That's pretty cute. I like this. I like anything Barbie. So I think this is really cute. Okay, scratch that. I don't like everything Barbie. I just like the Barbie design. I don't like Barbies. <laughs> NYX Butter Gloss. Also, this is one another good thing that came in the bag. This is in the color Toasted, and it's a pretty color. I would actually wear this. And a lip gloss from Style Lab. The color is pretty, and you know what I found about this? It lights up. Look at this. How cool is that? That is super cool. And then you just get like a bunch of papers. Yeah. That's everything in that bag. That's pretty lame, honestly. I've seen so many other bags like from the previous years and like different locations. Their bags are way better. The Los Angeles bags sucked ass. I'm glad I didn't pay the upgrade to get this bag and I, I got lucky and I got it for free. That is not worth what whatever like you guys paid, like what, $100? No, that's not worth it. Hell no. You only get... The only things that are worth it, honestly, in, in the whole entire bag, in my opinion, were these three products. Maybe just my bag sucked and maybe somebody else's bag got more stuff. Who knows? I just feel like these bags were just like leftover things that they just threw in there. Honestly, I got better stuff when I went upstairs to the main building to get free stuff. The lines for certain boots were really long, so I didn't get to go into every line. Just because I had my son with me and I had to leave early, I didn't get to go to NYX or Tarte. Those were the main ones I wanted to go to, and that sucks because I wasn't able to go to those ones. So I'll be watching some of you guys' videos to see what you guys got from NYX and Tarte. Oh, and also Nike was giving out stuff there too. I wasn't able to go in that line. That line was like wrapped around. It was crazy. So in the Maybelline line, you spin a wheel, and it tells you what you want. And I ended up winning Baby Lips Lip Balm. This is a really pretty pink. So some girl was just walking around, and I guess she worked for the Nike area. 
and she gave us some some free Nike nail wraps. These are really cute, and that's awesome, Nike nail wraps. I'm totally gonna be wearing these, and I love the color. From Chai, I got an Iron Guard Mist Spray. This is like a travel size. I was happy to get this. So this is really cool. It's like an airbrush blush. I tried this on there, like the, the girl put it on my face, and it actually does look really pretty. It felt really weird putting this on my face because it was really cold, and I was like, what the hell? How do I look? I had to run to a mirror just to make sure I wasn't looking like a clown, but it works good. This feels like a full size, honestly. I got two more Skin Fix hand repair creams. A really cute baby pink nail polish by Sheer Strength. So have you guys seen the commercial for the Pixel movie? Well, they were sponsoring it there, and if you spin the wheel, you either win a poster or sunglasses. Everybody I went with won sunglasses. I won yellow sunglasses, but I gave them to Baby Wyatt. I don't know what he did with them. He really lost them. From Billion Dollar Brows, I got a, a brow duo pencil, some tweezers and scissors. These ones were for guys, so I'm giving these to my boyfriend. Completely Bare was giving out free waxing strips, so I went and got the free waxing strips. <laughs> From Lemonix, um, they gave like facial stuff. I got the toner and the cleansing gel. These are travel sample sizes. I got two of the water sleepy masks um, because my boyfriend got this one and I got that one, and he's not going to use this. So he just gave it to me. From It's Cosmetics, they were giving away free waterproof eye gel liner and color correcting full coverage cream. They're like small sample sizes, but hey, you get what you get and you don't get upset. A chapstick from Shade Scout and I got two boxes from QVC. Inside the boxes were three things. Wens Cleansing Conditioner, Tarte self tanner concentrated reconstruction serum and then also they were giving like free cupcakes and cookies stuff to drink waters yeah that's pretty much everything i got was it worth it for me going yes because i only paid 30 dollars and i ended up getting all this stuff was it worth it for some other people probably not because some people didn't even get in the event they were only able to stay outdoors but outdoors was pretty cool you got to meet like the famous people watch bands cody simpson played there's food out there there was rides there was a big slide a ferris wheel and like a little swing thing for some of the people that that really wanted to go, just get the free stuff that's what they paid for that i'm sorry you guys didn't all get that stuff well that's the end of this video and i hope you guys enjoy watching seeing all the cool stuff i got will i be attending next year probably just because i had a good time but next time if i go i am not taking wyatt oh and also like a lot of things a lot of booths there do like have photo booths and you get to take a bunch of pictures so I took a bunch of pictures so I have some of those too those are fun okay well I'll see you guys in my next video bye